Welcome back. I'm so excited that you've joined us. I'm one of your math teachers online for this semester. I'm Mrs. Croft and I'm a second grade teacher at Early College Prep Academy at Loman Hill Elementary. I am so glad that you're here. We're in mod two. We're doing lessons four and five today and we're continuing with measurement. So here's our learning intention. We are learning to measure and estimate objects using centimeter rulers and meter sticks. I'll know that I have succeeded when I can measure objects with a centimeter ruler or a meter stick and estimate the length of an object. Okay, our vocabulary is a centimeter. We talked about this last time. It's a small unit of measurement, smaller than an inch, and this is a cube, so on all sides it is a centimeter on every side. A gap is a space between two objects. We talked about no gaps and no overlap. So an overlap is when one object covers another kind of like this. Okay, no gaps, no overlaps in measurement or your measurement's not gonna be correct. We are gonna do some fluency first. Related facts on a ruler. All right, let's start with the first fact. Three plus seven. You can use your ruler to jump, but always start at zero. Okay, this centimeter ruler has some before zero, but we always wanna start at zero, no matter what your ruler looks like. Whether it has this little space or some lines, we're gonna start at zero. So actually this is three plus seven, so we can just start at three and we can add seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that three plus seven is 10. Okay, 10 minus three, one, two, three. Three jumps is seven, so your answer is seven. Okay, these are the flip-flop facts, okay? Now, you can always use a ruler as a number line. It's the exact same thing, so use your tools. Five plus two, start at five, one, two. Now, if you're adding, you're going to go to your right. And if you are subtracting, it's gonna to go to the left. It's going to get lower, okay? It wouldn't make sense. You always wanna ask yourself, does that make sense? If the number got smaller, if you're adding, that doesn't make any sense because you would have more. Okay, seven minus five. One, two, three, four, five is two. So the missing number is the number in this other fact. They're called flip-flop facts. They're called fact family. They are related facts and you can show them on a ruler. All right, enough fluency today. Let's get started with our lesson and our application problem. Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. Richard has 40 pennies. Joe has 25 pennies. How many pennies does Caleb have? Well, let's look at our data. Richard has 40 pennies, so we represent it like this. Caleb has 40. Caleb has 37 more than Richard. So we're gonna show Richard's and Caleb's. But what about Joe? Well, we don't need to know Joe's number. That's just another part of the problem that's just stuck in there. So you need to be careful and find out what it's asking and what you need to use. So we need to have 40 and 37 to make our whole, which is the total, which would be 40 plus 37 or 77. So you would add these two together because he has that many more pennies. So he has what Richard has and he has more than that. So Richard has 40. We have 40 over here. Caleb has 37, so we're gonna take both of these, add them together, we're gonna to take Richard's and add them to Caleb's, and then you would have 77. Let's count them, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We have five in a group and two more is seven, that's 77. So carefully read your problem, read it twice, make sure you know what to use, draw it out, figure it out, and then we'd probably write a sentence to go with this. We would write, Caleb has 77 pennies, okay? All right, measuring with centimeters. Here is our guide. It shows an inch and two and a half centimeters, roughly about equal an inch. So centimeters are smaller or bigger than an inch. That's right, they are smaller. And here's a centimeter cube. Now last time in lesson one, we measured this 
crayon using these centimeter cubes and we lined them end to end and we talked about it that's right no gaps okay you can't have gaps or you won't have enough one two three four five six seven eight but if you had gaps look at this one two three four five six only seven <gasps> so it's not right it's not going to be right if you have gaps because all those little gaps would total a whole other centimeter so make sure you start right at the edge make sure you have no overlaps we talked about that and make sure there's no gaps all right centimeters and meters now we talked about centimeters and inches and i showed you my ruler right here and centimeters are on one side they're the smaller measurements Okay. And if you flip it over, the inches are on the other side and they're the bigger measurements. Okay. Now there's a whole other thing that's not a ruler because a ruler is only 12 inches. It is a meter stick. I don't have my meter stick with me today, but look at this picture. This is a tiny picture of a meter stick and centimeters are really, really small. There are a hundred centimeters on this meter stick wow that's a lot of centimeters so here's your centimeter cube and it um, is the same as what is on a centimeter okay there are a hundred of these on a meter so you can imagine how long it is and we're going to talk about how to decide if you're going to measure something in centimeters in inches or with a meter stick okay because there are different tools that you would use to measure different things depending on their size so let's talk about estimating well if we have uh, an estimation of a centimeter I have a paper clip here okay this paper clip is about the same size as your pinky okay this is about a centimeter okay so you can if you don't have a ruler that has centimeters you can estimate by using this paper clip because if I put that paper clip up there it is about a centimeter so is my pinky okay so if you don't have the correct tool you can estimate remember the word about and you can make a good guess at what that measures using your paper clip or your pinky okay that's a centimeter now a meter is different a meter is how many centimeters again that's right it's a hundred centimeters a hundred pinkies oh my goodness what the estimation is is about the size of a door okay so your front door your back door any door all doors are about a meter long which means it's a hundred centimeters so if I was to measure something Mm, say this expo marker would I want to use centimeters or meters yeah centimeters and I could easily take my pinky and put a mark on here and move it to mark move it three four five and keep going to measure this now if I wanted to measure my doorway or my driveway or my bicycle would I use my pinky or would I use a door or a meter stick I mean think about what makes sense right you would not use a pinky something really small to measure something really big so that will help you use your estimating and your benchmarks we call these mental benchmarks because we know that this is a centimeter so you're going to measure things and it says in your classroom but if you're not in the classroom you can measure something in your house with a centimeter ruler now i want you to try to use a real centimeter ruler okay if you don't have a centimeter ruler you can use your pinky okay are these going to be big things or are these going to be smaller things that's right they're going to be smaller things so for instance a marker or a pencil or something that's small like my cute little ducky here <laughs> okay you are going to write your object name over here on the side and then you're going to measure it and write the length on this side have fun with this and uh, pick five things uh, get somebody to do it with you if you don't want to do it by yourself
Okay, so that is your activity today. And then you have some things in your journal you can do. We have an exit ticket. What would you use to measure? Centimeters or meters, okay? Remember, whether it's big or small, don't forget what you learned. And if you do forget, you could always go back and rewind this video, track back, play it again, and then let it help you with your exit ticket. There's more here on your problem set and your homework okay on choosing what to use to measure whether it's big or small and then there's always fun games to play we have our making 10 we have our strolling with our nomies and the measurement game so be sure to do these activities be sure to do your journal i hope you enjoyed this lesson if anything confused you or you're not clear or you didn't hear me be sure to go back and rewind it's okay to do it again so find your ruler Pick your five things to measure and have fun. I will see you next time.